How's it going guys? We are back on the video here and this video is going to be telling you what I think the best abilities to activate in NHL 23 HUD are. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel here, and let's get into the video. Alright, so here we go. Uh, basically, there's really no order of this either, so don't be like, oh, so you think this is better than that. No, that's not what I think, alright? So, let's start off with, to me, really the best one though. I mean, I guess, I want to say it right now, but I think it's the best ability in the game, right? So, I think it's wheels. I really do. I think gold wheels is the best ability in the game. I think it's the most notable, noticeable ability in the game. And there's a reason why there's not that many cars that have gold wheels yet. So, and it's some of the most expensive and best cars in the game, right? So, uh, I mean, I think Conor McDavid X Factor, I think, right, right, really, right now, is the best car in the game. But gold wheels, the only thing about gold wheels, it does cost 10 ability points. So, that's a lot. 10 ability points is a lot. Uh, but you know what? It's really worth it. I don't care what you say. The AP limit's 40 right now. I would still use uh, a lot of it for sure. I would still use 10 points out of the 40 uh, to get it activated. It's so good. I mean, especially early on in the year, you're, a lot of D-men aren't really that fast. So someone with gold wheels can easily blow by you. And it's very frustrating and very hard to catch up with them. So, uh, no, I think it's very good uh, to have gold wheels active. I think just wheels in general. Even silver wheels is still worth having active. But gold wheels obviously the best one because then it's just you know you're even faster right and you have even more wheels but yeah no wheels is uh easily the best in my eyes so uh, let's move on to the next ability here again no order by the way no order uh but next up is going to be big rig again only one card it looks like on the market right now is gold big wig big wig big rig but yeah no uh gordy howe has it right now and that actually costs six ability points and why do I think Big Rig is good? Well, it says exceptional strength and agility when driving the net and puck protect. Stronger free hand to hold off a defender when cutting to the net. I think it's very effective as I feel that hitting and bumping is very hard this year as well. So you can really drive in the net like that and get a lot of scoring chances. Even if it doesn't go in on the initial shot, you know, cause a rebound and a scramble. And I think that it's a very good one to have. I really do. So... Yes, big rig. I think it's a good one, and I think I think you guys should definitely consider activating it, even if you have silver. Even again, just because you don't have gold, uh, I would definitely chill. I would still probably activate it silver edition. All right, let's move on to the next one here, and the next one here is going to be close quarters. All right, so close quarters is another one that again, not, not many people have gold close quarters, but if you do have someone that has silver or gold close quarters, I'd use it. Close quarters is pretty broken. It's been one of the most broken abilities uh, the last two years in NHL 22 and 23, especially in World of Shell. However, it's still very good. So it costs eight ability points, gold edition. So uh, it's exceptional power and accuracy when taking wrist slash snapshots in close proximity to the net. So if you're a person that likes to shoot very close in front of the net, shoot for rebounds, and someone you know shoots for a rebound, uh, you know it, it'll help. It'll help their shot a lot. The power, the accuracy, it'll really all add up. So uh, yeah, no, this will be. A very good one to have active for sure, and you definitely want that right there. Goal close quarters is good. I mean, I always found it to be broken, so make sure you guys take advantage of this card, all right? And just, you know, I mean, Sarah Nurse, yeah, I know she's 5'8", but I mean, with goal close quarters, could be a pretty underrated card, all right? So take advantage of that ability, I should say. All right, moving on to the next card now. Sorry, next ability. Uh, it's going to be light work, all right? So light work, it looks like there's no one that has uh, gold light work right now. Uh, at least on the, on the market. So if, since they don't, I'll try to pull them up. Uh, let's see if there's silver. Let's see. Let's see. Light work, light work, light work. Let's see it. Let's see it. Hopefully someone has it and they do. So yeah, plenty. So Sorokin. So he has silver light work, for example. So uh, it would be gold. It would be six. All right. But uh, silver light work. Here it is. It's advanced save ability and reaction time when facing wrist shots. I feel like this year, one timers, you don't really... I feel like post to post is almost not that important just due to the fact that I feel like most goalies make the post to post save. Maybe I'm crazy for that, but I think I'd rather have other goalie abilities. I think light work is probably the best one other than that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, I, I think I think light work is definitely a very good ability to have for a goaltender. So I uh, definitely would activate that if you guys have it on like an X Factor goal or just if you have Sorokin, I mean, make sure you activate it for sure. Let's put it like this, guys. I feel like if you have any ability on a goal, unless it's unless like an adventure or something like that or, you know, something that's like really not that important, I probably would activate your abilities on your goalies because it's always important to have a good girl, goalie, especially early on in the year, at least I think. But uh, yeah, that's what I think about light work. Uh, let's move on to the next card now. Uh, and the next card here, let's see. So the next ability will be, let's see it, let's see it, let's see it. Uh, let's see if I can, uh, hopefully, on the market, that'd be nice. All right, let's see. It's going to be quick pick, all right? Quick pick. Anyone have gold quick pick? It appears no. Unfortunately, no one does. So that's unlucky there. 
but maybe it will be a silver ability, which I'm sure someone has Quick Pick Silver Edition. There you go. Dawson Mercer, my guy. Uh, but Quick Pick's good, especially for a D-man, I would say. It doesn't really cost that much either. Four gold ability points for Quick Pick. Two for silver. It's advanced at intercepting pucks. Also increases the player's range when inter intercepting pucks. So that's very good if you're playing against someone that is forcing one-timers and cross creases. So uh, I really like Quick Pick a lot. I, I really think Quick Pick's awesome. Uh, I used it a lot last year, early on in the year, but then I started using other things. But still, nonetheless, quick pick is very good all right let's move on to the next one here and the next one here is seeing eye seeing eye is a pretty underrated one if you take a lot of like point shots especially with d-man i wouldn't really put seeing eye on a forward i wouldn't activate it but d-man wise i would six gold ability points three for silver is advanced accuracy on shots when the goalie is screened a screen goalie's reaction time is also reduced when shooting with this ability so that's huge that's really huge you take a lot of shots from the point so uh, that's something that I would really uh, consider activating if you guys do take a lot of shots from the point, all right? So there you go. That's what I think about seeing eye. Uh, next up now, though, it is going to be the classic from last year, Shutdown, all right? So uh, we got Shutdown. Heaven has it. Silver Edition is four. So Gold Shutdown is eight, which is a lot. It is. It is a lot, but Shutdown is pretty broken, and it makes it really easy to play defense. It really does. So uh, it's advanced accuracy when poke checking. So your, your poke checking accuracy is literally better with it. Uh, against momentum or at speed so like defending the rush is a lot easier when you have shutdown active it also improves shot blocking so your guys are going to be getting in the lane and blocking shots better and easier uh, and hitting strength while defending against rush hands so trying to hit guys while they're you know rushing down the ice will also be more effective so pretty much it's all in one really shut down it seems you're literally shutting down the other team literally so yeah no it's uh very good and I really like Shutdown. I think it's still very worth it, uh, even though it costs a lot, all right? Uh, next up, though, is going to be another one that I think is kind of underrated. Stick them up. So stick them up here. Uh, we got, and it's stick them up, which costs uh, about two ability points for silver, only four for gold, which I like. Cause it's very cheap. You know, that's what you really got to like. And it's very cheap and that it's it's not going to really cost you a lot to activate it. So stick them up is outstanding. Defensive stick speed. So that actually makes it easier and faster to poke. Uh, advanced accuracy when poaching against momentum or at speed, similar to shut down a little bit, uh, reduces the chance of a penalty. So you can kind of almost spam a little bit more poke checking with stick em up. I mean, you still can't like spam it like a crazy amount, but uh, you can definitely do it and not get penalized as often at least. What it would appear to explain, but uh, yeah, no, I like it for sure. Stick em up is one I, I definitely activate if I have it available, especially when it's silver because it's only two points. Not going to really change your life, but uh, moving on to the next one here. This is this is one that I think is just so broken. It's Truculence, all right? So uh, Truculence right now, silver, it costs three ability points. Gold, it's six, but I would activate it. I really would. Gold or silver. Truculence is broken, I feel, especially this year when hitting is a lot harder in general. So I really like Truculence. It's advanced ability and assists on shoulder checks, increased chance of knocking over the opponent and sapping their energy. I really felt like in Angel 22, Truculence was so broken, and I just loved using it and just hitting people and trucking them Literally, just so easy. Literally, so easy. And it made defense so much easier when I had Truculent active. I think Truculent is probably one of the best abilities in the game. I'd say it's top three in my eyes. So, yeah, no, Truculent is so broken. I can't believe they even have it in a hut almost. That's how good it is. So, yeah, no, I love Truculent. Uh, moving on to the last one here. And it is going to be Unstoppable Force. Okay, so Unstoppable Force. I like a lot because I feel, again, it's hard to hit. Unless I guess you're running against someone that has Truculent. Uh, Unstoppable Force, it costs gold eight. Eight ability points, four for silver, advanced strength of the puck, and an increased ability to hold on to the puck when off balance. All right. So, I mean, it's worth it. It really is worth it. Like I said, it's hard to knock people over uh, when they have unstoppable force, and, and it's just very effective. I've always felt that. So, yeah, I mean, that's really what I think about the abilities in NHL 23. These things can change pretty quickly. Metas change, gameplay changes, all that good stuff. So, we'll see if I feel this way exactly, you know, a month from now or, or maybe even next week or two weeks. We'll see. But what do you guys think of the best abilities in NHL 23 HUT to activate right now? I'm very curious. I mean, I'll show you uh, what I currently have active on my team. I don't really have the craziest of team yet. Uh, hopefully, we'll be improving that very shortly. But uh, for ability points right now, I'm using 40 out of 40. I got one T on OV, all because I really didn't have much else to activate. Unstoppable Force on him. Murphy, I have one T. Uh, seeing Eye, I don't have active on Murphy. I honestly might do that over one T. I feel like I feel like low key really is not good on OV, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, Kachuk, I have close quarters and born leader. McKinnon, puck on a string, because why not? Uh, off the rush. I'm going to use Big Rig on Hillary Knight over McKinnon. There you go. So we'll do that. All right. Hellbuck has dialed in. I'm going to put Unstoppable Force on, on, on him, of course. 
We could just uh, deactivate that, like that, boom. Uh, I got quick draw on Yokinen, and then I got nothing else on anyone else, all right? So that's what my abilities are like. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel here, follow me on Twitch, Henrique, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrique with three E's, and join Discord to talk to me, follow and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video.